is 8.30 on the nose here on Weekend Daybreak. Lene Myers joining me this morning. We're talking about a little bit of a foggy, soggy, soggy, frizzly, frizzly. Yeah, you got it all. No, there's plenty more. Thunderstormy. Thunderstormy. Mm. Soggy. All great words. Showery. <laughs> if it ends in Y, I bet it can fit in today. We've got plan. everything today. Hey, how about we take a look outside <laughs> and you can decide for yourself. What storms tonight that could get kind of interesting, mm -hmm. so we're going to talk about that, and we'll get folks ready for their Monday as well. Got to look on the bright side. At least if it's going to be dreary outside, or at least we're getting some rain out of it. Exactly, and that's what we want. Okay. Thank you, Lene. Well, happening today is the Statesman Cap 10K. KVU's Quita Culpepper is live in downtown Austin now. Quita, you've been out there for about 30 minutes since they've been racing. Uh, anybody getting tired yet? <laughs> Uh, that would be me, me, just watching all of these people go by wave after wave. I'm exhausted. I'm going to be running straight to my couch after this is all over because I have seen 10K, Quita Culpepper, KVU News. 45 Tina? minutes. I think it would take me more like four hours and 45 minutes to get through all that out there. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Quita, thank you so much. All new this daybreak, 100 years after the mass slaying of Armenians by Turks, Pope Francis is calling it, quote, the first genocide of the 20th century. His political statement during Sunday Mass will now anger Turkey, according to experts. The Pope called it the first of three unprecedented tragedies followed by the Holocaust and Stalinism. Historians say Ottoman Turks killed one and a half million Armenians around the time of World War I. Turkey says the deaths are not genocide. The death toll has been inflated and the ones who died were victims of civil war and unrest. In Syria this morning, nine people are dead, about 50 are injured after Syrian rebels shelled a government-held neighborhood in Aleppo. That's according to Syrian state television. You're looking at the pictures here. A few hours after the attack, a British newspaper reported that helicopter gunships retaliated in the rebel-held neighborhood of Mahdi that killed eight people and wounded dozens more. In Egypt this morning, a U.S. Yeah. Egyptian citizen yeah. named Mohammed Sultan will be spending the rest of his life in prison for financing an anti-government sit-in and spreading false news, according to the government. The criminal court also upheld death sentences for 14 people, including Muslim Brotherhood leader Mohammed Badi. Another 36 people will also face life in prison. In Bangladesh, an Islamist party official has been executed overnight for crimes against humanity during the 1971 independence war against Pakistan. Mohammed Kamaruzaman was hanged last night in jail. Prosecutors say he was behind the death of at least 120 unarmed farmers. Although thousands flooded the streets in support of the hanging, you see here, Bangladesh's Islamist political party is denouncing the execution. And back in the U.S., police arrested rapper and reality TV star Nelly on drug charges. Tennessee Highway Patrol said they pulled him over, his real name is Cornell Haynes, Saturday morning because his bus did not have a U.S. Department of Transportation and International Fuel Tax Association sticker. When troopers reached the bus, they said they smelled marijuana on board and they later found five rocks that tested positive for meth. They say they also found a number of handguns on board. Nelly is due in court for multiple charges Cancers in June. And, and things of that nature, so. Hillary Clinton is expected to announce her bid for the presidency today online, but her adversaries are already on the attack. And a boy genius with a passion for, yep, you guessed it, baseball, will introduce you to this 11-year-old, and he'll show you his chops on the field. First, let's take a live look outside. This is 183 near Technology. You can see a little bit of fog out here. It may get worse before it gets better. Lene Myers here. She's going to tell us more about that and what we can expect throughout the rest of the day when we come back.